Hey guys, Annie here. Welcome back to Pokemon Fusion, or Infinite Fusion, sorry. Um, unfortunately, my audio file got kind of corrupted in the making of this, so it didn't record anything. And when I mean corrupted, it, um, it did this thing where it desynced my recording stuff, and I didn't know about it until way after the video was done. I was like, what, what is this? So this is me doing a voiceover for the second time. The first time was during the Subnautica video that I made, which was actually my first one in the sense that I had to do it because it was oh it was recorded via PlayStation. But here I am looking at this Pokemon, which is super cute when I saw it. So I was like, I'm just gonna throw a ball at it anyway, just to see what I can get. Uh, and I got it first attempt, and I was kind of happy about it. Uh, I'm also going to say that in between talking sections, so I don't talk too much, uh, I'm going to put some audio uh, music in the background. That way it's not completely boring and just me talking. Because no one wants to just hear me talk. Also, when this happened, I was so excited. I was screaming like, it's a dragon! It's a dragon! I was excited. I was 100% excited, and it only took me, I think, one try to get the Pokemon, and it did, like I said. Uh, I wasn't excited about the um, the Golbat fusion with it, but uh, overall, it's a Dragonair. I didn't care. It's a pseudo-legend, so I was super excited about that. And as you can see here, I'm battling a Jirachi Unknown fusion. Between this Pokemon and I think a previous battle, it was just not going well for me. Because at this point, I'm just going battle after battle, just trying to get some experience points. And it took me to send out uh, Stevie Wonder. You know, my boy. My 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 man. My first dragon, I think. it Was my first, was it my first dragon? I actually don't remember if it was my first dragon. But either or, uh, I send out him, or her, it. And... With the help of its iron barbs and its dragon uh, claw, we took it down without much of a fight, so that was perfect, and it turned out really great for this battle.
part is because this Pokemon is a Togepi Growlithe or Togetic Growlithe. Either way, Fusion. And I'm like, oh my god, it looks just like Yamper. And I was like, you know what, just just out of the fun of it, I'm going to try and catch it. So I throw a great this great ball at it, and, you know, first attempt, I'm just like, nice. This is awesome. So at this point, I have been battling this Gengar Chansey for ages. Okay, I'm not, I'm not just saying that i mean literally i was here for like four minutes wasting so many hyper potions because of this thing it was just ridiculous it's dark pulse was just kicking my ass and all i could do apparently in this fight was just constantly miss i'm like can i just land one move and finally it does and i was like that was the most ridiculous fight I've been in in so long. And at this point, I'm having to send out another Pokemon because he's got another Pokemon. Uh, and thankfully, it was just this thing. Because I've already, again, I was fighting this trainer for a while. And this was the final one. And it took one more shot of this. And it was out. I was done. I was happy. This is where I went nuts. Because I was like, wait. Is that a fucking dark cry fusion i was so pumped like there's the dragon air fusion like yes pseudo legend but this is a dark cry like dark cry one of the coolest uh legendaries i don't think it would be technically a mythical i mean it might be because it was an event pokemon either or it's dark cry okay so i'm over here like trying to Whittle it down frantically without knocking it out, cause that's all I wanted. I I wanted this dark cry. It was I I just it was a need for this dark cry, and it was just not wanting to work with me. So eventually, I got that sky sky attack sky attack in, and I was like, okay, it's not doing that much damage. I can knock one more out. This is where I start throwing ball after ball after ball, just trying to catch this thing. And it doesn't go down the first time, of course. It never goes down on the first time. So I, I was like, okay, let me just use a Premier Ball. And of course, Premier Balls don't have the best of uh, catch rate. So I was like, okay, I'm running out of Pokeballs here. Hopefully I can catch it. So I throw another one, and again... It doesn't stay in. It doesn't even get to the second one. And it almost knocks out Togogrigus here. So I was like, okay. Just throw a great ball. Maybe. I, I don't know about most people. But I have a better success rate with a great ball. Than an ultra ball. And of course it's going to be better than the pokeball. It's the pokeball. I, I don't know. But then again, I caught a Mewtwo with a pokeball. So I can't really say much. That's a different time for uh, that's a different story for another day but i just kept throwing them and throwing them and eventually i caught it here and i was so so pumped i was freaking out i was like yes yes it's a dark ride all right so i finally found blaine at this point and i was like okay finally i found him let's get out of here uh he was just pretty much telling me this is where mewtwo you know the the mewtwo from like you know the olden days <laughs> was made and a little fun fact if you didn't know ditto is a failed Mewtwo attempt I don't remember where I read that but I was like oh okay that's interesting but anyway Blaine was telling us that uh this is where the lab where Mewtwo was created and yeah uh off camera I went ahead and um got some super repels and that's how I found it because I got tired of battling things so that's what I did there. So we're at the trivia part of the game where it's just like, what level do these, this one evolves? So I'm just like, okay, so the earliest one is Charmander, which is level 16. And then which one of these, this one actually got me a little bit because I knew Lucario and Marwild was. But I wasn't, sh I couldn't remember Jirachi, but out of just, I was just like, no, it's past, screw it. Uh, we, then we get to this one. 
and I really feel stupid because I said ground, and then I was like, no, wait, it's rock. But it was too late, and I had to battle this guy. So that's what's happening next. Another cool little moment, my dust snow started evolving into a, uh, god, what is it called? Dustiosis? Dustlos. Sorry, Dustlos. Uh, I'm not good at remembering things. But yeah, at this point, I'm like, oh, cool, it's Blaine. Let's get into it. And I want to battle you. So I select the, uh, Asimawak, just because it's Asimawak, because it's a water type. Bright Queen, Stevie Wonder, and Dust Louse, because, you know, it's Dust Louse, and I want him. And that was the best team I could come up with, honestly, with the, what I had at the time.
Here's the th volcano badge. And then I look at the money. I'm like, $5,000. What is that? I have burnt out. You have earned the volcano badge. Da -da -da -da. Ha. The volcano badge heightens the abilities of Pokemon and all this. Here's the fire blast technique. Enjoy. You also get three premium wonder trades. And you guys know me. I can't leave an episode without doing the wonder trades. So I do that. First things first, I want to get rid of this Togekarp because it sucks. I'm never going to use it. It's it's just not something I want. So in return, I got this thing. It's a Sand True and a Delibird Fusion, which, again, isn't so bad. But then I go downstairs to look for something else to trade. Uh, And I remembered that I had the Darkrai. So I just had to figure something out. And I'm again, I'm sorry if I'm not doing the best at my voiceover. I don't remember what I did. I didn't write notes because I didn't expect this to happen. So I go back after putting that down because I wanted the dark ride in my inventory for something special I wanted to do. So I go back, do the wonder trade, and this time I do uh, puke mural. Didn't get something I wanted, and I'm upset about it. I got a like a, De a, De a Diglett Eevee fusion, and it was just something I didn't want. I then thought, I was like, oh wait, double fusions are in this game. Let me try to see if I can f get a double fusion. Uh, it it um it didn't turn out so well. So instead, I was oh wait, I can't do this because I don't have a other thing I can use so I was just, I'm just gonna trade this thing back because I can't use it I'm not gonna use it and I got this adorable Teddy Ursa Mime Jr. and I loved it uh, again I'm not gonna use it but it was something I wanted and at this point I'm looking at it I'm like okay what is it I'm like oh it's a Mime Jr. Teddy Ursa so at this point this is where I decided to do something I don't remember if I bought the items at this point, and if, uh, I'm going to assume I did, because I'm exactly what I wanted to do. But, you remember the, the, uh, Darkrai fusion I have? So, it's right here. Of course, you can see it. I'm, I'm selecting it. So, I unfuse it. And then, I had already previously unfused the Dragonair fusion. So, of course, this <laughs> is what I wanted, or so I thought. So, I fused the two together, choose the wrong one, or chose the right one. I should have went with the left one, because this one came out really, really derpy. Like, it looks cool here, like right about here, but then as soon as it, like, comes into the thing, you're like, what, 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 what in the world is this? I'm like, I don't like this. So I immediately go buy a reversal. And I'm like, okay, let me try the other one. The other one cannot be this bad. And, oh, oh boy. It turned out so beautiful. I mean, look at it. It's a black Dragonair. This thing looks so sick. And I was like, I have to get this trained up for the next thing because I was just so excited to use it so at this point I start doing the outro I'm trying to like say hey guys I hope you enjoyed the video and all this and that and I was like wait there's a whole other side to this I haven't seen yet so I go completely left 
And I'm like, oh, there's just a random Absol here. Let me just go ahead and battle it. So why not, right? So I start battling this thing, and thankfully I do because I catch it. And yeah. So with that, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Again, I'm sorry that I had to do a voiceover, and I'm sorry if it's not perfect. But I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, leave a like down below. And if you haven't already, hit that subscribe button. I'm going to end it without, with a, uh, a battle music. And I just hope to see you guys in the next one. Bye-bye.